In this video, we'll see how to add and structure content. So let's go into one of our courses, the Blackboard Test Course, which each of you have. It's a private space to you that allows you to experiment with. And I'm going to add a new content area for the purpose of this video. So let's just call it Content, and we'll make it available to users, and hit Submit. It appears at the end, and I'm going to just drag it up here. And we can see that it's currently empty. If I click on it, there is no content here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a content folder and I'm going to give it the name Topic 1. You would give it a meaningful name and it's a good idea to, in the text box here to explain what information students would expect to see within Topic 1. But you can down here choose whether it's visible to students, which I'm going to leave, and hit Submit. And I'm going to quickly add a second folder, click on the content folder and add Topic 2. And in this case, I'm going to make sure that it's not available to students. So I'm going to scroll down here and choose No. Hitting Submit allows you to have your two folders, one available for students and one not. In this folder, Topic 1, I'm going to put in some content, starting with a, an item. In maybe call it something like Handout. And again, maybe give explicit instructions to students about what you want them to do with this handout. So print this before class or to read it and answer some questions, whatever you want them to do. Choosing browse your computer, I'm going to attach a file, click open and by default the link to the file will be the name of the file but you can edit that here easily. You can also add another file if you wish directly and in both cases now these two files are attached. Again you can choose whether it's visible for students and whether to track individual views. Hit submit and our content now is available for students. If I go down to web link, I can add a link to a website. So for example, say I want to add a link to the IT Carlo library. So under the URL, I can go to the library page and pick up uh, the URL for the library and come back and paste it in here. So that's the easiest way when you're linking to a particular web page. Again, give instructions about what you want students to do when they visit the linked page. You can attach a file if you wish and it's a good idea to have fi uh, any links to websites opening in a new window. Hit submit and we now have a link to a website. A third type of uh, link that you can do is to add a mashup. You can add a link to a picture on Flickr, a presentation on SlideShare, but also a video on YouTube. Blackboard allows you to search these three sites from within Blackboard. So I'm going to search for Hans Rosling, who's a statistician. And if I, slick, if I search for all of the words, it, because of a glitch in the system, will not return any results. So you have to choose one of the other options, and I'm going to choose exact phrase. And if I click go, it will search YouTube for any videos that have Hans Rosling in the details. So this one looks quite interesting, and I can preview and watch it here. If I'm happy with it, I can then choose to select the video and it will put it within the Blackboard, uh, it'll create a Blackboard item with an embedded or pop-up option to watch the video. You can rename the video if you want. Uh, you can add details in terms of watch this video or answer the questions while watching this video and you can choose how it's going to be presented. I'm going to choose thumbnail, but you could embed the video if you wish. Hitting submit then allows the video to be appearing in here. As well as adding links to content, you can have links to assessments, but also two links including things like a link to a discussion board if you wish. Let's look at it from a student perspective. If I turn the editing mode off, and if I go back to the content, we see one folder is available, the other folder is currently hidden, and clicking in it we see our handouts. If we click on any of these, the advantage of linking to a PDF is that it will allow you to open the page within your web browser. We can click on a link to the library and it will open in a new window and we can preview and watch the video. This can be played, it can also be maximized. So it's a very quick and easy way to add videos from YouTube. That's it.